Hey guys, welcome back. And today it is the review of my little Flurion FX10, the world's smallest quadcopter in 2015. And now this thing is just tiny. Like, oh, it's just so small. You're probably wondering on the screen where'd it go because <laughs> it's just tiny. And yeah, cool feature about this, it fits in the transmitter. So you push it in like that, this little case. It's quite hard to do. And then, see, I broke mine in my unboxing, so it just comes off like that. It's not meant to. Fit that in, put the case back on, and it's like a little pocket rocket, or pocket quadcopter, so you can transport it really easily. One thing I would have liked it was a charging cable coming out of here, so you could charge it while it's in your pocket, but I'm sure that'll come out in future versions. So I'll just put this back on. Back on my little stand there. Focus that. Put it back here. So we'll get some size comparisons now. Here's a size comparison to the. I, I lost my Chisen CX10. I actually can't find it. So that's the previous world's smallest. Here's a H8 Mini size comparison. See, it is absolutely tiny. It's about the size of the um, the body of the H8 Mini, which is just insane. It is so small. And here's. A comparison to the world's smallest hexacopter, the MJX X900, and you can tell it absolutely uh, blows it out for the competition for the world's smallest RC. It is so small. Anyway, I'll stop raving about how small it is and talk about how it flies because this thing flies awesome. It's like the Houston CX10, as it's just so stable, so like just it can just hover and. It's got quite th punch punchy on the throttle, but apart from that, it is just awesome. Another thing which is quite annoying is it's got very it's only two rates really because the third rate's headless mode like the CX10A, so that means that that your quadcopter just go flying off in any direction. Headless mode doesn't really work well on this on these little quads like this. Um, but yeah, the t the two rates are, they're they're quite slow, so the pitch is only about that, and it it doesn't doesn't move very fast. The yaw is pretty normal; it's a little bit on the slow side, so I would have liked to see some faster pitch and maybe a bit faster yaw as well. I'll put this back now. Uh, here's the transmitter I showed you before. Here, uh, there's trim buttons. That button's right, so there's one, two rates, and the third rate's headless mode. This button's flips, and the flips are really nice and tight, and you'll see them in my uh, flight review later. Uh, these buttons are trim buttons, and your trim buttons, and I'm pretty sure that's throttle trim buttons. Yeah, so that's the transmitter, and I'll do some size comparisons for the transmitter now. Here's the Chisen CX10 transmitter. And it's not that much bigger than it, really. And since this fits the quad inside it, it is just really cool. And yeah, so it's a little bit bigger than the CX10 transmitter. And here's the Sima transmitter compared to it, and it's a lot bigger, a lot smaller than the Sima transmitter. Anyway, I'll put this back on its little jar stand there. I uh, will tell you, I'll tell you what it comes with. It comes with some four spare props, and they are tiny props. Focus. There we go. They are absolutely tiny, and they bend a lot. And I haven't had one break yet, but I haven't crashed it too much yet, <laughs> yet. <laughs> and yeah, I'm sure you wouldn't really need to buy spare props. Here's the charging cable. Now the charging port, since the quad is so small, they had to kind of make it external. So you just get the bit with the lump in it on the charging cable which is this side here and then put it on the top like that and that'll charge so it, it works quite well the charging time is about 20 minutes for, it's a 75 milliamp battery in there or it might be 70 I think it's a 70 milliamp battery it's tiny 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 everything and that's pretty much the whole um, body is just the battery. <laughs> these motors are just insanely small. Uh, flight times are pretty good. You get about eight minutes. Well, I've got about eight minutes, so that's really decent for a small quad like this. It 
a couple more extra minutes compared to the CX-10. And, yeah, as I said before, charging time is about 20 minutes. There's a 5 second L LBC warning, so that's when the lights flash to tell you that the battery is going low. So that's plenty of time since when you're flying this, there's not really much chance of you going that far away from yourself. Since the pitch is um, not very far, the pitch is not very fast and it's so small to see, it's <laughs> so hard to see when it's a long way away. And the range from the transmitter to the quad is about 30 metres, but you don't really need to go that far since this quad's so small. And it's more of a, much more of an indoor flyer. I flew this out in wind once, and it was it actually worked all right, surprisingly. But still, it's just so small and light that I just fly it inside. Uh, what else does it come with? It comes with the user manual, and um, the user manual is quite good. Looks exactly the same as the CX-10 one. Uh, comes with the transmitter there, the quad, and uh, the box. Oopsie. So the box here. It looks quite cool. It's a lot. It's a pr lot bigger box than the CX-10 box, but yeah, it's pretty simple. Yeah, nice and compact. Yeah, so overall, this thing just flies awesome, and you'll you'll see that in my flight review coming up. And yeah, well, that's about all I've got to say about it. So we'll take it out for a flight. Hey guys, welcome to the indoor flight review of the Flurion FX10. And we're all binds is up, bound up. Orientation is correct this time. And as you can tell, this thing is just so small and so stable. So much like the CX-10, just in a smaller size. I'll try to get that up close to you. And the LEDs are really nice as well, especially for a really small thing on the motor. They're on the motor pod, so that's nice. So this is the first rate pitch. Not very fast at all. And then your is all right. Doesn't really. It's too fast for the pitch in rate one, but in rate two, it suits the pitch quite well. Your doesn't change either. I don't think I mentioned that in my review. So the your doesn't change. I'll do some flips now. They're really, really good flips. The side flips go down a little bit more than the back flips and front flips, but they don't lose any altitude hardly. And in really nice tight spaces, you can easily do flips. Now I'll try headless mode. I'm not the greatest at headless mode, but. Okay, the lights flash. Whoa. And that's what happens when I do a headless mode. Props are all good. Let's get back in the air. Red light's facing me. Yep. Uh, get out of headless mode. <laughs> it's too hard for me. Whoa. Nearly hit myself. <laughs> Trim it up a bit, yeah, a lot actually. I'll just. And. To side. So for $20, this thing is just awesome and definitely recommend it. Probably go to CX10 if you're a beginner, just because of the CX10 has better durability than this, even though. This is has really good durability for its size. It's just that being this small is impossible to be resilient to everything. And the CX-10 is almost resilient to everything. I put it through a lot of tests and it's come through very nicely. I haven't lost mine in the garden, my CX-10. I've never been able to find it. So I don't have it. I, that's why I didn't have a size comparison in my review. <laughs> Ah, uh, might fit. I'll do your one return to home, then I'll finish up the flight. Uh, no, this is headless mode. Uh, 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 I'm in headless mode. Uh, headless mode is. Oh, the yaw is so slow in headless mode. I have not noticed that. And that's what happens when I fly headless mode. 
but let's just see that yaw again. Oh my gosh, that is slow. Look at that, that is full yaw in headless mode. I'll try to catch it. Oh my god. <laughs> see, the thing is quite durable. I've bent a prop there, but that's about it. Just bend it back and it's ready to go. I'll try it. I'll show you the yaw once and for all now. Okay, I have no idea what my orientation is. It's just horrible, I'll just say that. I, I can't fly headless mode for more than 10 seconds. Anyway, thanks for watching my review of the world's smallest quadcopter. Uh, make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, whatever you want, and check out my other videos at my channel. Thanks. Thanks again.